And now, your weather authority. Thanks for staying with us. Not too bad outside. That's a nice view. Yeah, it is a nice view. And you got the privilege of telling everybody about the elections yep. tonight. And I have the privilege of telling them that if you're just now getting out the door or will be getting out the door for the next few hours, skies are beautiful and temperatures are very comfortable. Here's a look at the almanac for today on this particular day on the calendar. Notice how we're pretty similar to the daytime averages right here for this particular day. Many years back, it's just the daytime averages. But that's all said to me in this. We are comfortable right now and will be comfortable through tonight and into tomorrow as well. Now tomorrow will bring a set of changes to the forecast, which we'll touch on in just a moment. But as of now, here's a look at your Mississippi Power Doppler. As you can see here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, at least in our six counties here, things are crisp, calm and clean, and that will persist with us into at least the next few hours. Now a few upper level clouds drifting up and over the Mississippi Gulf Coast, but the majority of rainfall and actually the, all of the rainfall in near our vicinity is down to the southern portion of Louisiana, and that's where it will stay through this evening. We'll get into the dynamics of that in just a bit, but as of now, like I mentioned, temperatures in the mid 60s here across the Mississippi Gulf Coast to move up a little further to the north. Areas like Wiggins at 76, Poplarville's at 70, so everybody is in that general temperature range there. Definitely a range of temperatures that is quite comfortable this evening. Wind speeds, not really a problem at the moment, but over the past 24 hours, we did see some decently gusty winds, not really anything to write home about. Gulfport bringing home the title there at 24 miles per hour. As of now, they've definitely calmed down and winds will be a little bit breezy through the evening hours until calming down into tomorrow as well. I want to quickly breeze through your future cast here. What you'll notice is a few showers start drifting down into the area tomorrow, but that rain chance really is generous at 20 to 30 percent. Probably won't see much more than that across the area. But your seven day forecast, a few disturbances start to rotate into the area into your end of the work week and into the weekend as well. With that being said, we'll definitely break down the threats for heavy rainfall, some flash flooding, and maybe even a little bit of a stronger chance for some storms into the weekend here in a few minutes. But election night is beautiful. All right, thanks, Trey. And speaking of election night, we'll have more on elections. Right after this break. Stay around.